Hello everyone, I'm Seth with Exotic Motorsports and this is our 2006 Chevrolet Corvette convertible. It has 19,032 miles on it and you can definitely see every bit of that mileage in the condition of the paint in the car itself. This is such an incredibly clean and beautiful C6. This car has been taken very, very, very good care of. It probably looks just like the day it came into the dealership it was ordered from. It looks flawless. The front driver's side fender, no marks on there at all. The hood is completely flawless. The, the front, I mean, I'll double back here and show you guys, but even down below on the lower portion of the front bumper, typically where there's tons of rock chips, you know, the fog lights hit, get it pretty bad. There's absolutely no marks at all, nothing. I can't even classify anything as superficial because there's just nothing there. It looks perfect. I apologize, there's one very, very small mark on the fender there. I almost went past it, it was so small and insignificant. Front driver's side wheel, perfect shape, no issues. You'll probably be hearing me say that a lot through this walk around video. Driver's side mirror, one very, very tiny blemish there, almost completely unnoticeable. Driver's side door two or three very tiny rock chips that have been um, paint matched. The rest of the door is flawless. Driver's side rear quarter panel. No issues anywhere there. Rear driver's side wheel. No issues, looks great. The soft top also looks brand new. No wear at all on the soft top. Moving towards the back of the vehicle. Face of the rear bumper is in excellent condition. There is one scratch there and one more there. I believe there are some very small scratches here as well, unfortunately. And there's another scratch that runs along here. You can kind of see it if you catch it in the right light. It's not very big. And there's some very, very minor scuffing right here. Not a lot of it though. Again, very small, small superficial stuff. Um, there appears to be some pretty consistent scratching along this uh, section right next to the trunk cover. But it's incredibly light, very difficult to see. These look like some deeper marks that have been paint matched. Rear Passenger quarter panel is in great shape other than the things up here next to the trunk cover that I listed. Everything else is in great shape. Rear passenger wheel looks good. A little bit of discoloration on the inside of some of the spokes, but it's pretty minor. Passenger door looks like we have some scratching here up top. Very minimal, very light. Rest of the door looks great. Passenger side mirror, no issues there. Front passenger fender. Again, there seems to be some scratching kind of next to the fender and the hood. Some scratching here in this area. It's pretty light, not easy to see. A little bit of scratching over here in this area. But those are the only flaws that I see in that area. Front passenger side wheel. Again, looks phenomenal, no rash or anything like that. I'll go ahead and walk around the vehicle from a one foot distance to give you a better big picture idea of the overall condition of the car. It's easy to make a car sound like it's in worse shape than it really is by pointing out every defect that it has, but here at Exotic Motorsports, we believe in complete transparency and the condition of our vehicle is to give our out-of-state buyers the peace of mind and confidence they need to purchase a vehicle sight unseen if they choose to do so. 
So walking around a vehicle from a one foot distance is a lot more indicative of what you would notice as far as flaws on a day-to-day -day basis if you were to own the car. So you would see truly what is superficial and what flaws do stand out. And I do confidently believe that the flaws that I pointed out on this car are extremely superficial and very, very easy to glance over. I didn't notice any of them walking around the car. It's something that you have to get pretty close to the paint to be able to see. So checking out the interior, we do have very nice black leather interior. Door panel is in excellent shape. No wear on the door panel. Driver's seat looks good. It is power adjustable and heated as well. Does have memory seats, express down driver and passenger windows, power adjustable mirrors, twilight sensing headlights. And the unique thing about this one is that it is a power convertible top. So we'll go ahead and start it up. Six speed manual as well. So we'll go ahead and take that top down. So just extend the handle, twist it, switches over here next to the um, light stock. So I forgot, you do have to kind of manually separate it. And then once you do that, the windows will uh, go down on their own. Oop, wrong button, there we go. So I like to make sure that this is twisted in. And while holding the button, it will electronically lift the cover and tuck everything in on its own. Very, very convenient and very fast as well. It doesn't take very long. And just like that, you're done. Virtually no work involved. Super simple. You do have navigation. Dual zone climate control, heated seats. Auto dimming mirror with OnStar and a compass built in. There's our navigation, if that's at all visible. I think the glare from the sun might be too bad, but I assure you navigation works, it's up. Do you have a radar detector here? Cup holders look good, not dirty or gross. Shifter looks great. There's no um, signs of wear on any of the markings on the buttons or controls. The steering wheel looks good. There's no fading or anything like that on there. Door panel looks great. We've gone over the driver's side. Passenger side door panel also looks great. Passenger side seating looks really good as well. You have universal garage door remotes built into the driver's side sun visor. And here on the odometer, you can see we are at 19,032 miles and it runs and drives so well, as it should with it being almost a new car, aside from the fact that it's 15 years old, but from a mileage standpoint, The C6 is in great shape. So with this being the first iteration of the C6, before they revised it, uh, it does have the six liter aluminum LS2 uh, V8 engine. Makes a really healthy amount of power. Very reliable. Sounds great with an aftermarket exhaust if you're into that kind of thing. Idle super smooth and consistent. It sounds very healthy. No weird sounds or anything like that. It runs and drives phenomenal, goes through all the gears without issue. Six speed transmission on this feels awesome to drive. Not to mention this is one of the best looking Corvettes ever made. And it's a convertible so you can enjoy the nice weather with the top down. This is just an all around super fun car. There's a lot more storage than you would think in the back. So it's actually relatively practical. So that is our 2006 Chevrolet Corvette convertible. If you have any further questions, please feel free to check out our sales listing online. You can find it on our website at exoticmotorsportsok.com. Thank you for watching.